Hey everybody, this is Dr. Missy Hood with Ezekiel's Wheel. I just never anticipated getting back on here today, but I wanted to release this prophetic word um, about the um, cross-pollinated warriors from the throne room of heaven. Um, and basically, um, the destinies that God has us, has us now completing in the earth. The Lord says, I knew you before the foundations of the earth. And if he knew us before the foundations of the earth, that means that we were probably doing something in heaven before we got here. So whatever you were doing in heaven is what you're probably doing in the earth, what you'll be doing in your future for your destiny, if you can press into that place and break through to that place. So the Lord gave me the title of the Color Cross-Pollinated Warriors of Heaven. And it says many warriors um, are from the Psalms 104.4, uh, they're from heaven's throne room, which had been maturing through the cross pollination process um, from heavenly ministers in the earth. And so it's the cross pollinations of heaven, the things that come, the gifts that come from heaven, where we've gotten mantles, we've gotten our gifts heightened, we've gotten healing. That's cross pollination. So the Lord says, however, in the last 20 years, the enemy sent in his forces to pollute the cross-pollination process by contaminating our infilling, meaning he came at us through trauma. The enemy came at us through trauma. The enemy came at us through deep hurts to bring in the negative emotions of the enemy's camp or of the enemy's character instead of us being infilled with God's character, with God's heaven's, heaven's atmosphere, heaven's uh, holiness, and heaven's majesticness. Because when you're filled with complete light, your vessel's powerful. It's very, very powerful when it's pure light. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. So God said he had to separate us from family, because a lot of it came in from families, from friends, people who we were used to be associated with, even from old churches who weren't growing or had Ichabod written on the doors, or people who wouldn't come up into heaven's purity or into Christ, so that they too could be purified by love. The Lord said love covers but only if we let it. If we refuse the covering or the makeover, the Lord says God can't lay out his new color palette or canvas. It's like a white mat over our life and across our own canvases so that all things can begin to be painted anew. This is why, pardon me, so many have had their lives, life portraits erased and stripped to the studs because of their color mats being polluted or contaminated with things not of heaven. So your colors got muted. The things that God was painting your life with, with the colors, the colors that God was using to paint your life with, um, as you grew, got muted by life. They got dulled by life. They got contaminated by the enemy's forces because the enemy didn't want your life reflecting heaven. He wanted it reflecting hell. And so the Lord says that their colors became dull and dark and of the pictures people were painting and the lives begin to reflect hell's image instead of heaven's image. But heaven's heaven is glorious, not dark. It's alive. It's fully alive, not dead. Matter of fact, heaven is so alive that when we reflect it, we bring it into our atmospheres to illuminate the darkness around us so that everyone's color palettes can be cleansed. Love heals a multitude. It heals a multitude. So that's how powerful love is. It's the most powerful force on earth. So that's why we've got to keep our color palettes totally rejuvenated and totally pure. So when we walk into healing, healing cleanses everything. Our senses, our gifts, our ability to see and discern, our ability to reflect and walk out the truth of what heaven is really like in the earth realm. Meaning we become fully alive. We know who we are and whose we are. We know that we're children of the Most High God, daughters and sons of a king. And so the Lord says, in him, the master painter of our soul, we can do all things. We can paint the most glorious images of heaven and the majesticness that heaven encompasses. Be blessed. Have a great day today, guys. See you probably Monday. Bye-bye.